Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Lee, Ophthalmology Editor for Ophthalmology Web. And today we're here with Dr. Darwin Liao. Thank you for being with us. He's from Seattle, Washington. Today we're going to talk about EFA Systems Electronic Medical Record System. Now, Dr. Liao, I know that you were one of the early adopters of this system. Tell me a little bit about what made you decide so early to go into this ophthalmology-specific EMR. Sure. Um, so we started a brand new practice uh, in Seattle in 1999 after uh, I finished residency. Um, one of the goals initially at that time was to create something from scratch that would have electronic uh, medical records and electronic practice management from the get-go. Uh, obviously going through training, seeing, working with a lot of the different institutions, seeing all the paper being pushed around, and then having a personal interest in technology, I realized that there's the, the future is going to definitely be electronic medical records and rather wait um, to pick something later than have to deal with all the legacy paper, we should jump in and start from the get-go with um, electronic medical records. Uh, and we initially didn't really start with EFA. We had another vendor handling both our practice management and our medical record system. Um, it turned out that uh, the medical record part of it was oversold, hadn't really been ready for prime time quite yet. So at the end of the day, because I had a partner with us, we needed something just that just worked. Uh -huh. So we went back to to EFA systems. Oh, great, okay, you, you had some early insight there. That's great because everything is shifting now to EMR. Um, we're even shifting now at the university. So tell me how easy it was to transition into EFA. How easy was it for you to bring EFA systems in? Yeah, to get it online was actually extremely easy. Um, as I said, we had already kind of gone through a pretty large installation with another vendor uh, trying to work with their EMR um, and to get EFA online was just a matter of phone calls getting all the you know, contracts paid and then simply um, their staff flew out and was able to install the software within a matter of hours. Um, we were then basically starting training uh, with the added advantage that we didn't have with the other package that our instrumentation um, data from our electronic uh, automated foropter was now being automatically imported into the medical record as well. Okay, great. So, so very smooth tr transition. Um, uh, along those lines, tell me about how important it is to have these instrument interfaces and, and the guarantees you have on those. Yeah, um, it was vital to us. It's like if we're going to do an entire, um, you know, automated, uh, you know, refraction and get the data out of there, uh, you know, why then transcribe things manually off the little receipt paper right. into the EMR? There's, you know, room for tech and transcription error, or if the doctor's doing it themselves, again, transcription errors would be the number one issue you have. So for the time savings, obviously, uh, it was vital to be able to pull in as much instrumentation data as possible and not have any duplication or redundancy of data right. lying out there. So you've had the system in place, EMR, for over 10 years now, is that right? Just about 10 years, right. And how many times have you had any technical problems or had to call the company for any issues over these 10 years? It's interesting, because I usually uh, was able to go in there and, and customization is extremely easy with an EFA. If there's a, you find yourself typing uh, and you didn't want to have to type the next time you encounter that same issue, you can easily create an abbreviation and a, and a button on your own to modify your exam form. Um, so the questions I would have are probably more on the advanced level, but uh, for example, um, if we if we needed a new update to our interface, our um, if it was able to install an HL7 interface so we can import and export demographics back to our third party uh, practice management systems, um, they actually had upgraded their um, HL7 standards at one point, causing a little bit of a, a data transcription error that. Um, hadn't been fixed yet, so we simply called IFA and they were able to identify the problem very quickly and remotely upload the fix for us. So, you know, that's probably the type of thing that we would call them for. Otherwise, we're pretty much smooth sailing. Great, and very responsive on their part as well. Well, perfect, thanks so much for being with us today and speaking to us about IFA systems, I appreciate it. No problem, thank you.